Hello everyone. I am Dr. Akif. Today I am going to tell you what are the lifestyle modifications we have to do to reduce hypertension or getting from blood pressure. So how can we prevent blood pressure by lifestyle modification or if you have a hypertension or blood pressure, how can you keep it in control or decrease the intake of drugs intake by maintaining your lifestyle. The most important thing in, in lifestyle modifications is comes under these settings that is losing weight. So first thing, most important thing to control your blood pressure that you should keep your weight under control. If you lose weight, it is, uh, it is known to decrease your blood pressure as well. It is found in various studies that if you reduce your weight, it will reduce the blood pressure by around six, 5 to 6 millimeters of mercury. So weight reduction is the most important thing to control your blood pressure or to prevent from blood pressure. Second most important thing is taking DASH diet. So this diet is specifically to stop hypertension diet. It should contain that is that means that your diet should contain a two to three portions of dairy products, nuts that is dry fruits and seeds. It should contain seven to eight portions of cereals. So that should include all the cereals as well. And you have should have six portions of fish, meat and chicken and at least minimum of four to five portions of fruits and vegetables should be there in it. Another most important thing is that you should decrease your salt intake. So average intake by any person in a day should not be more than one teaspoon. So the guidelines says that if you decrease your salt intake by less than one spoon per day, that is one tablespoon per day, or if you take it in the grams, so less than five grams of salt per day, so that will help you in reducing your blood pressure and will also prevent you from getting blood pressure in future if you are healthy today. Another important thing is to avoid smoking. The smoking should be completely stopped and also uh, avoidance of alcohol intake. So suppose if you anyone consumes alcohol, the limit of alco alcohol should be taken in a limited quantity or moderate intake of alcohol is only allowed. So if you take it in grams, it has to be only 10 to 12 grams, 20 to 20 grams of alcohol per day. Another most important thing is to do exercise or regular act physical activity. So it is suggested that you should do minimum of 150 minutes per week. So in a week, a minimum of 150 minutes, that is two and a half hours you should take to do exercise. Or if you say per day wise, minimum of 20 to 30 minutes per day is recommended to help. This will help you in reducing your blood pressure and also will prevent you from getting blood pressure if you are normal tension or if you are healthy at present. One more important factor is to manage your stress. So do not take unnecessary stress and do not th think more. Many patients, many persons have a will man person keep thinking a lot. They have lots of anxiety and this anxiety can itself trigger you to get hypertension. So you have to manage your stress well. So do whatever you like, do some prayer or if you want, like to doing yoga or meditation, do that, whatever it is, do that, but try to maintain, manage your stress. And another also important thing is that all both the noise pollution and air pollution can also uh, lead to hypertension. So try to avoid private vehicles as much as possible, which will generate a lot of pollution and also avoid a lot of noise as well. So take try to take uh, public vehicles as much as possible. This will help you not only you also to the other people and also will save the earth. Thank you.